Oh. Well then. Autopilot, enhanced autopilot, and full self-driving. All kind of sound very foreign and complicated and weird. And recently, as of yesterday, some things have changed. And many of you hit me up online and wanted to know the differences and what I recommended and what you should do next. And so I thought I would make a quick video on that. Everything you needed to know about autopilot, enhanced autopilot, and full self-driving as of September 2020. So let me start off by saying the reason why I wanted to create this video is it's very important to know about your vehicle, what you're getting for your vehicle, and all the features of your vehicle. And that also leads me into today's sponsor, Teslab. Teslab is, think of it as a Swiss army knife for your car. It gives you a lot of insight into your vehicle, how it's performing. It also offers really cool features like being able to check out supercharger destinations before you get there and knowing whether it's a good location, has bathrooms and good food nearby by using a community generated system. As well as it also allows you to see your efficiency on your vehicle, how you're driving, how much you're saving as far as electricity versus gas and so forth. Think of it if Yelp, Foursquare, the Tesla app got together and had a baby, you would get Teslab. It features the best of everything and gives you a whole lot of insight into your vehicle. And that's why it's important. It's good for you to know exactly how your vehicle is doing and making sure that you are getting the most out of your vehicle. If you want to check out Teslab, I'll put a link down below. You could check them out at teslab.app slash teslaraj. All right, so let's talk about it. In your vehicle, every Tesla that you order today comes with autopilot. What autopilot is, is it's traffic aware cruise control. It's got auto steer, it keeps you in the lane and so forth. It's a very cool feature and is what most people are going to know and use a lot. Now, in the past, there was another feature called Enhanced Autopilot. It has since been discontinued, and that's actually what I had when I bought my car. Now, we're not going to go into the past and look at that, but the reason why I bring this up is because Enhanced Autopilot is back as of yesterday. It is going to be offered till the end of the month. So if you currently have Autopilot today, you now have the opportunity to get Enhanced Autopilot which is half the price of full self-driving at 8,000. So you can get enhanced autopilot for 4,000 or full self-driving for 8,000. So a lot of you are gonna ask, well, what's the difference? So let's go through it. Enhanced autopilot includes navigate on autopilot. lane change, auto park, and summon. Summon is the ability to be able to move your car forwards and backwards and uh, and there's also a subsidy of Summon called Smart Summon, which will actually allow it to pull out of its parking spot and come to you in case of a rainy weather or so forth. So everything that's an enhanced autopilot is available today. So you will actually get full use of your $4,000 if bought today. Whereas full self-driving includes everything that's an enhanced autopilot, but also includes traffic light and stop sign control, which allows your vehicle to stop when there's a red stoplight, go when there's a green stoplight, stop when there's a stop sign. It also, coming soon, will allow your vehicle to auto steer on city streets. So that's now bringing the stuff that it's able to do on the freeway and bring it into city streets. Now the auto steer on city streets as of right now, August 20th, 2020, is not available. Full self-driving, of course, will also include anything in the future they were to release, anything that's roadmap. So if you're planning on keeping your car for the next 10, 15 years, full self-driving, while expensive at 8K, makes sense today because it's probably only going to go up. Those of you who know, full self-driving has gone up to 8K 
uh, over the last couple years. Now, if you are in a subset that's smaller, that doesn't even have autopilot, which is included today on all Teslas, you have the option to buy autopilot at $3,000. Now, you need autopilot enabled to get enhanced autopilot. So what does all this mean? What is the best way to go? Well, if $8,000 is a large chunk for you to bite off today, you can get enhanced autopilot, enjoy a lot of the cool features today for half the price, and then get full self-driving at a later time when funds are more available to you or when more of those features have become available. Now, keep in mind that full self-driving may not remain at $8,000, so it may go up. But as of right now, September 20th, 2020, the difference between splitting enhanced autopilot and full self-driving versus just getting full self-driving is $1,000. So if you were to get full self-driving today, it's $8,000. If you split the two and bought them, it would be $9,000. So some may argue that the $4,000 that you would have used to put into full self-driving for features that are not fully available today could be taken and used to buy Tesla stock, which in a year will probably return a much bigger investment than what you would have paid to get the features that are not available today. Completely arguable, you know, uh, reasoning. So Raj, what do you recommend? Uh, keep in mind, this is my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions, their own thoughts, what works best for you. But in my opinion, if you've got one of the newer vehicles, you've got autopilot already came with your vehicle, I would look at definitely getting enhanced autopilot. It's got some of those really, really cool features like navigating on autopilot where it will actually take the exit for you and auto change lanes while it's driving on the freeway. It also has the ability to do auto park. Now, for the most part, in my experience, I can park faster than auto park, but occasionally you run into those situations where you're just like, this would be kind of nice. And then of course, summon. Now, most will argue that summon is a party trick. And while I may argue that, yeah, it kind of is, there have been a couple occasions where summon has come in quite handy because you get boxed in into a parking spot that makes it impossible to get into your car. So having summon to auto pull out. In fact, I use summon every single day to pull my car out of the garage because I squeeze up as tight as I can to the wall of my garage to avoid my wife hitting my car. That's how I use summon. And the reason why I say that is because you're buying features that are available today that you'll utilize today. Full self-driving, you're buying features that are going to come. There's going to be a lot more amazing things and they're going to be available in full self-driving and not in enhanced autopilot. So while you have the chance and opportunity, get enhanced autopilot today. The other big difference between enhanced autopilot and full self-driving is when you purchase full self-driving for what's today, $8,000, it comes with hardware three. Now, for those of you buying your Teslas now and have bought them in the last, I would say it's about a year or so, your vehicles came with hardware three. So there's no need to worry about that. But for those of you who don't have hardware three, I don't know if they're gonna ever start charging for hardware three or if they're always gonna make hardware three free when buying full self-driving. But today, if you don't have hardware three and you buy full self-driving, you get the computer with it. For those of you wondering what I did, when I bought my car, I paid extra for enhanced autopilot. I spent $5,000 for enhanced autopilot at the time, which since went away and is now back. There was a small segment of time where full self-driving actually went on what people called a fire sale. During that time, I bought full self-driving for, don't, don't, don't shoot me, $2,000. Yes, crazy. That's how much it's gone up. So that's why I say make the investment now because as features come out, the price of full self-driving is going to go up. So invest in full self-driving. So in total, I spent $7,000 for everything. If you look at the price today, it's only about $1,000 more for full self-driving. However, when I bought mine, I had hardware 2.5. I've since got upgraded free to hardware three, which allows you to see the traffic cones and garbage cans and so forth and creates that visualization and is the most up-to-date full self-driving computer. In any case, that's what recently changed. Keep in mind this enhanced autopilot 
phase will only be there till the end of the month, September 30th, 2020. Now, what will they announce at Battery Day? Will that have anything to do with what's here? Are they going to announce full self-driving subscription? Probably. There's a lot of speculation of what might come, so we'll just have to wait and see. By the way, I will be at Investor Day, Battery Day on Tuesday, so look forward to a video from that as well. Hopefully I covered everything here and I made it make sense. If you wanna understand more about these features and exactly how Enhanced Autopilot works and what full self-driving does, I'll put a link to Dirty Tesla. Yeah, it's Dirty Tesla. He's a great YouTuber. He's got some really good videos of actually showing these features in motion. So I'll put a link to him down below, check him out. And hopefully that helped you. Let me know what you're gonna do. Are you getting autopilot if you don't have it? Are you getting enhanced autopilot? Are you gonna get full self-driving? Are you gonna wait? Remember, if you're not keeping your car for the five, 10 year time period, maybe full self-driving doesn't make sense. I don't know, let me know what you're gonna do. Put it down in the comments down below. Again, remember to, if you like this video and you found it useful, hit that thumbs up button. Helps more people find my content. And remember, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys later. I gotta get ready for battery day. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Make sure you're subscribed to my Instagram and my Twitter and following me there for all the latest information. Gotta go. Thanks guys, see ya.